Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So it's review time on the Wolverine. This is an HSP truck that I picked up from rchobbiesoutlet.com. So if you're in Canada, that's where you buy your HSP stuff, in my opinion. There are a couple other dealers, but this guy's got a lot of stuff. His prices are great. Um, ships by weight too, which is nice. You know, can actually save you a lot of money on shipping at times. Um, this thing is built kind of like a Traxxas in a lot of different ways. Completely new chassis design, um, modular when it comes apart, kind of like a lot of Traxxases. It's got the upper lower control arms, front and rear, so a lot like your Summit uh, with the pillow, bowl, pillow ball um, axle carriers. You've got eight shocks on this thing, so yeah, you can just literally jump the daylights out of this thing and she ain't gonna bottom out so that's pretty cool big tires on this thing lots of tread grips really nice um, on asphalt and um, even on the uh, gravel driveway we have so on gravel you're gonna be good you be good in sand to a certain point i would imagine um, and it is pretty sand proof uh, to a certain point of course like anything else it's not perfect does come with a wheelie bar that's adjustable for different angles. Um, I'm actually going to adjust mine because I think this is a little ridiculous. I want to kind of have a little bit less. Um, still potential to lower the body a little bit more because uh, of the way the body's cut out here. Much stronger bumper. And they've got kind of like a crawler bumper on the front, which is kind of interesting. And light pods that you can actually activate with LEDs, which eventually. Um, I know for sure I'll probably put lights into mine on the front. I don't know if my wife's going to do hers that way, but um, you can even put the little tow shackles on here, which will be kind of neat. Uh, maybe we can wipe it out and do a rescue video with it. Hey, why not, right? Um, the wheelie bar, too, is quite nice uh, with the wheel. It's actually ball bearing. Even Traxxas isn't that nice for, you know, one of their um, standard wheelie bars, you know. You gotta spend bucks with Traxxas for that. And you don't have to spend and break the bank to buy this. Um, also, you'll notice that you have no exposure to the drive shaft here uh, until you remove that center plate. And when you pop the, the hood here, and I can also appreciate that now with this new setup, you're not looking at your electronics like you do on the older generation. So your LiPo battery goes right in here, 2S or 3S. Um, you've got a fan-cooled ESC, uh, as well as a 3300 kV motor. Your receiver box, of course, is, um, I would not say waterproof, but water resistant, okay? Nothing is really waterproof-proof until you spend bucks, or you use stuff like plastic dip or other things to protect your electronics. Uh, although it does have what's called a waterproof servo. Um, anyways, you can get it wet, not a big deal. Uh, servo is weak in this. That is a downside. Um, it does have a very weak servo. That needs to be taken care of, which I now have my new servos in. One of them is going into this truck. Okay, um, I find it's weak anyways. Um, steering radius is not the world's greatest. However, it does work fairly good. Okay, so not a huge deal there. Um, it's such a nice stiff suspension with having not only the eight shocks, but also the upper lowers uh, for the control arms because that helps stiffen stuff up too. It also gives you durability. So if you want to jump the snot out of this thing, you can. And I mean, the ground clearance is just like ridiculous. It is insane for ground clearance. So a true basher. You know, a true monster truck you can really beat the daylights out of. So that's actually really good. I love that. Velcro um, hold downs, so you can put larger capacity milliamp batteries in this thing without any difficulties. So that's also good. Um, different shock positions you can play with, okay? Front and rear on the shock towers. There are a couple of metal upgrades already available for this thing, um, and there will become more and more and more as time goes on. It is a very new machine on the market for HSP, um, and uh, I think they really outdid themselves on this. Uh, and they're still keeping the price really reasonable. Um, I picked up a pair of these things 
Uh, with tax and shipping was like $699 and change. Uh, so call it like $700. And that's Canadian dollars, by the way. Um, you know, I am Canadian after all. So when I talk prices, it's almost always we're talking Canadian price. Um, comes with a two channel radio as well. The LiPo battery that comes with, uh, was it 3500 milliamp, I believe? 33 or 3500 milliamp LiPo two cell. Anyway, somewhere around there. Um, now the truck is over geared. As all HSP trucks uh, seem to come over geared, even their buggies. Uh, so keep it off the grass until you order in some lower pinion uh, tooth uh, gear. Um, I'm going to drop this probably down to about a 16 or 17 tooth. Right now, if I remember correctly, I think it's a 21 that's in here. Very, very super fast on, on two cell, still controllable, three cell, completely, absolutely mental. Um, and yeah, it's just, forget it. It's so out of control. It's crazy. Um, so it's definitely got very, very fast speeds, you know, um, and that's with stock gearing. Okay. And like I said, turning it down to a 17 tooth, even that's going to make the engine temperatures run a lot cooler. If I happen to go over some grass, though, you should never run your RCs on grass anyways, because it does nothing but overheat the stuff. Um, but Hey, we do what we do, right? I mean, it's part of what we do as RC bashers. We just don't care. We run stuff. You break it, you fix it, and you do it over and over again. Um, but uh, anyways, tires are very grippy on asphalt, very grippy uh, on the uh, gravel. So they do a really good job. Can't wait to see what this thing's like in the snow this winter. That's going to be awesome. Now, your radio uses eight AA batteries. Okay, now to me, I think they can really seriously get down to four. Um, but eight's kind of like, eh, but they do last a long time. I've gotten well over a year of con a lot of consistent use um, out of a set of AA batteries. Um, but I am going to be switching this over to my new FlySky radio, which has a rechargeable lithium ion battery that came with it. And we do have a spare battery. But I can also program up to 10 different models into that radio. And because these receivers are FlySky protocol, because they're just FlySky copy radios is all they are, okay? Um, so it's all FlySky. Um, I can bind no problem, right? I've already done my HSP crawler to that radio with its stock receiver, no problems whatsoever. So not a big deal. Um, so I probably recommend if you've got a lot of RCs kicking around um, that are like up to three channel, get the FlySky GT3. Um, C radio, uh, which is the new one we got, and uh, you can program like all your endpoints and ABS brake system, and you can type in the model number of your truck so you can identify quickly and easily which truck you're going to use, and then set it up on that before you turn stuff on. And this way, you get the right setups for that truck are already in there. Um, great radio, love it. Um, might even buy a couple as spares just in case something ever fails on those radios. Um, but I, we are keeping our other radios just in case something happens. Um, so we'll keep those aside. But um, anyways, great truck. Really love it. Um, can't wait to get this thing out to the skate park. Because, I mean, when you can do this, you know, and it really just, it doesn't, it'll never bottom out. You know, it's like, you got to jump this thing 20 feet or more in the air and see what happens, right? So when we get a chance to go to the skate park this summer, we're going to beat on this thing, you know, and see how much it can really handle, you know. Um, but otherwise, yeah, all steel gears, brushless system. Um, you know, like I said, I definitely recommend lowering the pinion down to a 17, ditch the servo, put in something stronger. Um, even a 15 kilogram servo would be a massive upgrade for this thing. And I'll probably go either 15 or 25. I don't think I need 25, but I'll probably definitely go with a 15. And I got a few of them kicking around anyway. Um, I can't remember what's in here, but it's not a very strong servo. It does work. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, it's just, I, I think it needs stronger, to be honest. It really does. You know, especially on recovery time. You know, it's a little sluggy on the recovery. Um, so... But otherwise, the rest of the truck is like totally awesome. And either way, it's definitely worth the money, even as an RTR coming with a LiPo battery 
Um, plenty of runtime, like easy over 20 minutes of runtime on that two cell. Um, you know, so that's that's great. And I've got a lot of two cell batteries uh, extras now uh, that I actually bought to a higher discharge rate and like uh, 6,300 milliamp batteries. Um, now, and you can run three cell on this, but I think if you do that, you're going to start ripping apart dog bones. And these are CV um, dog bones. So they're not your standard dog ended at each end. It's only dogged at one end and CV at the other. So I would probably advise staying away from three cell at least until you gear it down um, because it is just too much horse and. Uh, you know, even the speed is just, it, it's its insane as it is on a two cell, but on three, oh my gosh, it's, it's going to be exactly the same way. Now, I, I've run a three cell battery a number of times on my other HSP 4x4, which comes with the same uh, motor. And I got to tell you, man, on three cell, you can't control that truck. There is no controlling it. And it is so bloody fast. It's crazy. Um, and this is going to be the same way and it's geared with the same gearing so yeah it's it's mental right um so yeah definitely good definitely worth the money the lexan body shells are much better quality now um which is nice so they've made that improvement as well um the ball bearing wheel uh for the wheelie bar is great i mean hey come on traxxas doesn't even do that for you um you know unless you spend a lot of money um, but anyway, um, can't wait to do full, full upgrades on this thing too. Also, you'll find that these are a lot stiffer now uh, for the A-arms. There's like almost no movement there. Um, so that's a big improvement over the old style. The chassis tub alone and the way things come apart, way better than the older style HSP trucks. Which they still make. You know, I mean, it's, it's priced too, right? Like... You can still buy my old HSP one there that I bought a few years ago. You still buy that for like 240 bucks. Spend a few bucks more. Well, okay, maybe a, almost 100 bucks more. And you get something like this that's just brutal madness, right? And built like a tank. So, you know, it's kind of like the more you pay, the better you get. That's the RC world, right? And um, I really like the truck. I think it's an awesome truck. I'm glad I bought uh, this one for myself. And I got my wife one that has the red in it. Um, I've had a thing for this shade of green in the last while. I don't know why, but there's something about that green that I like it, <laughs> you know. So I had to have this style. Um, but uh, anyways, overall, I would rate this thing. And I'm being fair and honest because it does need a better servo and, and that. Um, and it is way too overgeared for the grass. So I'm going to put this thing at um, a solid, I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5, okay? I think that's fair, um, and that's giving it a definite recommendation. Like, it's, it's not perfect, it does need a better, stronger servo, it does need to be geared down, okay? Um, at least a few teeth down. Uh, what comes with it, I think it was a 21 tooth pinion. Take it down to a 17, it's gonna be much better. Yeah, you're gonna lose a little bit of speed, but then when you put the three cell in it, you're gonna get a lot of speed back and it'll be also be more controllable on the three cell than what it presently would be. Um, and on two cell, of course, it's gonna be a lot better having more torque on the bottom end. If you do happen to go into grass, at least when you hit the trigger, it's not gonna go eh, eh, and then go wee, you know, cause it actually goes wee like this when it does kick in. So it's way too overgeared for grass, <laughs> but great on the other surfaces. So anyways, um, that's what I got for you on this one. Um, it's a definite great buy. It really is. I think it's great buy. Uh, I think anybody that um, is looking for, you know, not having to go and spend the big money on a Traxxas machine uh, to get this kind of setup, and, and you're not, you're not going to spend, you're not going to find a brand new Traxxas machine that has, you know, dual A-arms, big tires, the brushless system, and all that jazz for like 350 bucks. You know, you're not gonna find that. Um, certainly not in Canada anyways. And when you go Canadian to US price difference, um, you're still not gonna find that in a Traxxas to compare to this and have the same kind of build quality even in it, you know, let alone ground clearance and everything else. I mean, this thing is just a beast, um, you know. That's just my personal opinion, you know, but we all have our own opinions. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, 
stay tuned. We are going to take these things out to the skate park as soon as we can um, this summer and uh, continue on from there and just start bringing in some more uh, cool bashing videos pretty soon for you guys too because I know a lot of you are waiting for that stuff so we're going to do what we can. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.